everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video, man. This is a cool car, right? We have a lot of great stuff coming through here. I've never seen anything like it. This is a real deal, real deal car built in the factory. The Zagato versions, right? With this uh, open air motoring, kind of giving you the best of both worlds, meaning the rigidity of a coupe, right? Because this piece is still here and it's all structure is still there, but giving you open air motoring as well. So you're getting that great handling, without uh, the things that go along with many convertibles that you might see out there. Secondly, this is a sleeper, right? What is a sleeper? A sleeper is something that might surprise you. And I think once we look under the hood, you hear the sound of it and we go for a test drive, you're gonna be like, man, I gotta figure out how to get this car uh, in my garage. All right, so when you're building a car like this, like what is it that you would do to a car? And how much does it cost? How long does it take? What are those things that add up? Well. For instance, let's start with body and paint. This has been freshly painted, all right? This is a Rosso Corsa red, and uh, for Italian, that's uh, race red. And in it are the little touches, because here's what I get all the time from people. You say, Tony, that's a great looking car, man, love it, right? And I'm like, thank you very much. But a lot of times we don't know why it's a great looking car. So let's look at a couple things for a minute. The color's fabulous, right? The wheel and tire and the stance of this car is beautifully done, right? It's pushed out to the very corners. The wheels and tires on here are 100% bigger than the factory set that would have come on the car in 1982. We're doing this video in 2024, right? This is 42 years later that this car is around. Think about that number for a minute. That's a long time ago. This car is great looking. And not only is it great looking in video, it's even better looking uh, in person. Secondly, uh, the trim, the blackout trim on it, adds that kind of more modern feel as well. And then, uh, well, you know what? We'll get into under the hood, the interior and all that good stuff, but let's start with the paint quality first because that's important. I like to teach people about paint for a second. Paint, we do this test, right? And people all over the country always remind me that of the, of the paint test. And the reason I do it is this, because pictures look great and you can make pictures look whatever you want, but video is the video. We can't manipulate that. And I like to make sure you can see like, what am I really getting? So when I say look at paint, I say, don't look at the paint. Look at the things that are in the paint, meaning this paper, the ceiling and what have you, and see how clear everything is. When you can see all the ribs of the ceiling in there, uh, the girders, the lights, how crystal clear all these letters are in the paint, you know you're getting shiny, better paint. All right, so the so is the best part of this car under the hood? I have to tell you for drivability, uh, the, it is a game changer. Let me tell you, this car originally came uh, with less than 100 horsepower, less than 100 horsepower. Now it has 200 horsepower, a K20 VTEC uh, out of an Acura. Um, and not only does it fit really well in here, it is a game changer when it comes to the car, right? It's a six speed now instead of the, the original five speed. Um, and it's just, it was meant to be, it was meant to be. And this is so well done. Uh, we talked to the builder of this car quite a bit, upgraded brakes, upgraded suspension. You know, we didn't just throw an engine in here and, uh, and not be able to stop the car or make it handle as well. All that's been done for you. And look how clean and detailed everything is in here. A lot of new wiring and, uh, all of the pieces that you would want, even things like the the header that's on here is wrapped, right? Uh, in, in this uh, fire retardant material that we would put on like motorcycles and stuff like that, just to keep things cooler under the hood. It's really, really well done. I know I'm, I'm rambling about this, just the, the craftsmanship, but if you've never done these things, there's not a book on this, right? There's nobody sh out there uh, writing a book on doing this because first off, this is a very rare car to begin with. And second, when this right here, this may be the only one of its kind ever done and it is well, well done. All right, so this, first off, this is a Lancia. They're known for handling performance and things like that, right? They were very expensive for uh, their time, right? And here is why. First off, the styling is what you're buying. You're buying Italian styling, but you're also buying, if you were to look and spend some time underneath of this car, some of the suspension there is incredible. These are rally winning cars, uh, race winning cars. They're, you know, they're legendary. How they get to that place? Well, if you look under the car, you can see they have some, uh, some really, really nice bits. This has all been upgraded as well. Uh, the exhaust comes out, nice big pipe there. The sound is great. And then this is a bumper delete. You can always add the bumpers back on if you wanted to, but uh, in this case here, the bumpers are deleted to give it that kind of uh, cool custom look, right? And then it's also functional too. Like the top that's there uh, is here in the trunk, right? And you can put some soft bags in there. You can go away for the weekend if you wanted to. 
keep all of there. Uh, we're doing some final uh, things inside the trunk here. The struts that hold it up are right there. And we want, the battery's been moved back here. We want to make a little nicer box for it. So we're finishing up the details of this. It just kind of came in. I wanted you to see it. So uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, the best part, though, will be the sound. I can't wait for you to hear that. I like this shot because you know why? It says I'm walking up to my cool car, and now I'm going to go get in it. Because while this is fabulous from outside, you're going to spend your time in there. When you go to a car show, you'll be standing next to your cool car. But what I want to do is spend some time in here because the cockpit of this car is Italian luxury as well. All right, so I'm putting me in here for a second because this is uh, where you're gonna spend uh, most of your time. So this Willwood brake setup here, custom pedal and everything is there. These are big brakes, why? Because this car makes a lot more power than it did um, originally. Nice audio system in here as well, all digital, all around here. Uh, full set of speed hut gauges with a 10,000 RPM tack and 160 mile an hour speedometer. Um, I have not driven this at 160. I was only uh, able on the roads I was at uh, to get to 155. Um, and then uh, and then I needed to change the radio station because I wanted to listen to something else. So that's why I backed out of it. I made all that up. I have no idea. Anyway, there's a good chance this is meant to go 160. That'll be for you to find out. Anyway, back to our uh, originally scheduled programming. All new interior, new carpets, new seat covers. Uh, the dash has been restored. Obviously, the sound system is new and digital and upgraded in here. You have seating for four. Imagine taking the kids out in this cool car. It's like a convertible, right? But it's also safe, too, because it has the, the, the shell of the roof that's still there. Um, and it makes that great sound. And it handles well. And all the stuff here kind of works the way it's supposed to from the wipers, the lights, and whatever. It's a real-world car that you can drive anytime you want to. Imagine going to work on a Friday. And, uh, and you know, you you call whoever it is that you're on the way home and you say, boom, and you shut off the feed. And I call the feed, the noise, right? The emails from the boss, the, the text, the Facebook, the Insta, like all of the feed, all of that chatter, turn it off. Put some music on that you want to hear and go for a drive. All right, so we close up the video on this car. Listen, let's run down some of the stuff that we may or may not have touched on because there's a lot. There is a lot of detail in here that, uh, that would take 30 minutes to discuss in a video. But the Momo wheel, the wheelwood brakes, the upgraded alloys, the 17s, um, obviously the, the VTEC conversion to here, the fact that this is a Zagato, which is, makes it rare. When's the last time you saw one? Like, have you ever gone to a car show and seen one of these? On and on, power windows, uh, storage for the top that's in the trunk. Like, this is a real world four seater car an Italian sports car that's, that's twice as powerful as it was uh, from the factory. It's, uh, it's a super, super cool piece. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about uh, this Lancia Beta Zagato edition. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. It helps us get the message out. Share it with your friends. They might like to see some of the stuff we get to. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the test drive. It's always about the startup and the sound, right? What does this thing sound like? Well, it sounds exactly what you hoped it would sound like. So we're taking out the Beta Zagato Resto Mod. All right, so how does it drive? Isn't that what matters? Whoa, wow. This is something. Jeez. All right, so you're thinking to yourself, wow, that really sounds good, it looks good. How do I get this in my life? And I say, you know what? That's a good question. How do I get this in my life? You need to figure that out. And that's our job to help you do that. But this is, look at this, man. You can just drive this car. Nobody's ever seen a car like this. When's the last time you saw a Lancia Beta, let alone a Zagata with the roof off and the sun top off and all that good stuff in here? Nice sound. just nice. I mean, you can throw it in six gear, drive it on the highway to the beach. Wow, this is great. This is great.
All right, that's our drive. Hope you liked it. A little stoop to do I don't want to drive it super fast. I'm going to leave that up for you. Uh, it's your car. You might as well get to use uh, all the power up. All right, so we're doing a little more test driving, right? Just checking out some windy roads because going down a straight road wouldn't be any good, right? I'm just letting the car do most of the talking because it's uh, it's really nice. It's really nice. But I also noticed too that it's comfortable. Like I'm riding in these bucket seats. I could put somebody in the back there. That would be really nice. All right. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the ride. We'll see you next time.